Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that button and uh, hit the bell for notifications. I'm gonna do this video a little bit different. I'm still doing the video on the City Pickers Grow Box. I'm gonna keep following along with that. I now have two City Pickers Grow Box, but I have added a lot of other things. I have a, uh, basically it's gonna be like microgreens and salads um, and spices on this rack here. So I'm gonna, every time I do updates, I'm gonna do updates on all of these. You'll see that I've got everything labeled, basil, parsley, and cilantro. I got lechuga lettuce and some spinach. Up here, I've got an heirloom variety of lettuce. These are doing pretty good. Not that bad. But each week what I'm gonna do is I'll follow along. I'll show you how the spinach is coming along and um, the heirloom lettuce, I don't know if you can really tell, uh, I didn't put a lot of dirt in here. This is a two inch pot and I think I only put maybe, you know, like this much dirt. You'll notice on these ones I corrected the problem. I filled them all the way to the top. So anyway, spinach, uh, lechuga lettuce, parsley, cilantro, and basil. Then we come over here into this section which I've started a bunch of different peppers. You'll see back here I've got peaty peaties. Over here we got cow horn. Same thing here, cow horn. These are all grown from seed. These over here, if you remember the lettuce I just showed you, the heirloom up top, I'm doing a little experiment to grow these under the LED instead of doing under the uh, T5. But anyway, these are all peppers here. There's all lettuce here, all underneath the 600 watt LED. Then, we come over here under the sulfur halide. Sorry about the way the picture looks. You can't really tell. It's because of the light in my, in my, uh, my camera. And today, it is nasty outside. But, I haven't done a follow up on these in about six, seven days. Today is the 22nd of May, so it's been uh, it's been a week since I've done my last follow-up, but you can see how they're doing. They're just starting to get stout, get a little taller. My uh, honeydew melon, this guy right here, he's wanting to grab a hold of everything, and it's been a, a pain trying to keep them off of my tomatoes. But they're not doing bad. Give me an idea as to how tall they are about up to my wrist so maybe about eight inches or so and then over here the peppers they're not doing too bad either we got poblanos and we got cow horns I still don't think I have enough light for all of these guys but they're growing so we'll see and then I've never really showed you guys all of my my other ones I got cucumbers Cherry tomato, uh, dragon cayenne, tomato, beefsteak, Tabasco pepper, plum tomato, another beefsteak. These are my uh, my blackberry bush, or my blackberry vine, I should say. See them over there? And we got some more tomatoes, and we got peppers growing out there, and grape vines, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. But. I wanted to go ahead and give you guys an update on the grow box, on the uh, the second grow box as well. But I also just wanted to go through and give you guys an update as far as everything else I got growing inside. Um, and I'm going to do that every week. Um, so again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button at the bottom there, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to follow along and see how the experiment's going and see how the uh, City Pickers grow box works out, I'm more than happy to continue on and. and take you guys with me. So until next time, you guys take care.